Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekly math video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the derivative of the function y equals the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus x cubed. And I will also show you how to find the derivative of any function in which you have a natural log of something. So stick around for that. In this function, I see that we have a natural log, and we want to take the derivative of the natural log of this polynomial function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I kind of think of as a formula to find the derivative of any natural log function, and here it is. So if I need to take the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of, let's call it u, whatever I'm taking the natural log of, that would be u. The kind of formula that you would follow is you would take 1 divided by u times, and now I need to do the chain rule, which is to multiply by the derivative of u with respect to x. And that's kind of the general formula that you would want to follow when you take the derivative of any natural log function. Sometimes people like to think of this as 1 over u times u prime. A lot of times that's what I think in my mind is because it's a little more of a compact form. And in that case, you can think of this being u prime over u. So let's see how we would put this kind of formula to use in our problem. So in terms of the notation, I would want to write y prime since I am now finding the derivative of this natural log function. And as you can see over here, it would first be 1 divided by, and I'm going to call then this is my u, if you think about that in terms of the formula that I provided to you on the right. So I would take 1 divided by 2x to the fourth plus x cubed, and then I would now want to multiply this by the derivative of that u part. And for the derivative of that part, I'm going to use power rule. And so that would be 8x to the third plus 3x squared. And as I've showed it to you here, this is a common answer that my students give. And I always tell them, you need to put parentheses around that derivative of u because you want to multiply by the quantity 8x to the third plus 3x squared. So just keep that in mind. Now from here, sometimes you can just leave it like that if you don't need to simplify it. But let's talk about how you would simplify this if you did want to continue. I would write the 8x cubed plus 3x squared in the numerator, since it's that times 1, and then divide it by the denominator 2x to the fourth plus x cubed. And I'm pretty sure that there's just a whole lot of x's going on here, so I think there is some simplifying I can do. In the numerator, I'm going to fact out, factor out a greatest common factor of x squared, which would give me x squared times 8x plus 3. And in the denominator, I'm going to factor out um, also an x squared. Now, I know I could factor out an x cubed, but then I know all I will be able to cancel is only the x squared. So I'm going to just cancel out or factor out the x squared in the denominator because, again, that's all I will be able to cancel. And so those would go away. And I would get a final simplified answer of 8x plus 3 divided by 2x squared plus x. And there it is. This is the derivative of natural log of 2x to the fourth plus x cubed. And notice something interesting. Notice the answer, the derivative, doesn't have a natural log at all in the answer. So keep that in mind when you find the derivative. And once again, think about this over here. And don't forget how this can help you take the derivative not only of this problem, but any problem that involves a natural log. All right, I hope you found this video helpful as I walk through this problem. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Feel free to comment below. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button so that you can see my weekly videos on mathematics. I hope you have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.